Hello everyone, this is Rick, and welcome to Astral Club. This is desire-based astral projection. Before we get into it, just want to mention real quickly, uh, Patreon, if you'd like to support the channel and the work that we do here in spreading the information about astral projection, you can do so. Uh, you get uh, advanced episodes on Sunday, a library of downloaded episodes for your podcast app, and of course, there's a Patreon email where we can talk back and forth. And if that's something you're interested in, you'll find a link in the description. Next up, private lessons. Uh, I've worked with some great people so far. If uh, you're interested in learning how to ask to project and you want to schedule a, a lesson or just get information about a lesson, you'll find an email in the description and I'll send you the necessary information. One of the simplest methods to astral project, one that may work when everything else you have tried fails, is the, the desire-based method of astral projection. What does that mean? Well, the physical body has needs and we tend to develop a variety of habits that we do on a daily basis. And our brains uh, enjoy and probably get dopamine hits from these various habits. Uh, and one of the ways we can astral project is by denying the physical body suddenly something that it receives and enjoys on a daily basis. Uh, I'll give you a, an extreme example. There's been stories of people who have collapsed in deserts uh, from thirst and they find themselves or their astral bodies soaring over the desert looking for water. Uh, the reason that happens is because the desire has been built up and it is so strong that because the physical body can no longer move or function to find the water, that that desire propels the astral body outside looking for that substance that the body needs. I had a student once who tried everything. Um, he tried every course out there. Um, he went through a course with me and he just wasn't having any luck. So I asked him if he had any deeply ingrained habits, things that he did on a daily basis that he found pleasurable and that he used on a regular basis. And he told me he liked to smoke weed. So I said, okay, you smoke it on a daily basis? He said, yes. I said, stop immediately smoking that weed and take your stash and put it in the kitchen. And when you go to sleep, tell yourself that you will not smoke weed any longer until you astral project. He told me that that very night, he found himself in the kitchen trying to grab a hole, uh, hold of his stash, but his hand kept going through the baggie. Uh, and that's when he finally realized, uh, especially when he started looking at his hands and he could see through them, that he was projecting that he, uh, his astral body wanted to satisfy this physical longing that he enjoyed. And that's when he went off and had an astral projection. Uh, so that was one particular example that was very effective. It's simple, but effective. Uh, when I was a kid, I really enjoyed uh, candy that was called Red Hots. 
Uh, and it was something that I probably enjoyed too often. Uh, so what I would do is I would tell myself, I'm not going to eat these, even though I love them, and I won't, I'll never eat them again until I astral project to them. And quite often I would find myself that night down in my basement where I'd hidden them, trying to grab them. And then of course I'd realize that I was out of my body and then I would go off then and have another astral projection. So that was one easy way I could supplement my projections, or if I was having a dry spell, that would get me started. Uh, next up is the sex drive. The sex drive, particularly when you are young and you're in your teens uh, and in your 20s, it can become extremely powerful if it's not satisfied in any way, shape, or form. When that happens, the desire builds and builds and builds. And if the physical body does not find a way to release that stress, then it can be very useful in projecting yourself out of your body. Uh, as you're falling asleep, uh, imagine where you will where you would go to satisfy that particular desire. And don't be surprised if you find yourself projecting to whatever source you imagine where you could satisfy that desire. Uh, the only cautionary tale I can tell you is that you'll have to gain control over yourself at some point uh, so that you can actually have the astral projection that you desire because Keep in mind, the astral plane is also called the emotional plane. So if you think that particular sex drive is strong in your physical body, it will be even stronger on the astral. So you'll have to be able to gain control over yourself so that you can then proceed on whatever astral projection you actually wish to accomplish. Uh, another idea is for people who smoke cigarettes or who vape. And uh, generally, people who do that, do that on a daily basis. And it becomes very much a physical addiction. Nicotine is a very powerful drug and it causes dependence. So if you suddenly stop immediately using uh, uh, smoking or, or vaping, you're going to build up a very strong desire. And if you don't satisfy it in the physical, uh, when you go to sleep, if you tell yourself that you will not smoke, you will not vape until you project to, well, where your vaping paraphernalia is, say in, in your kitchen or, or basement or wherever you want to put it, or wherever you want to put your cigarettes, that uh, you have a very decent chance of finding yourself projecting to where that substance is, trying to grab a hold of it, at which point you can recognize that you're out of your body and that you can now actually a, uh, go ahead and have yourself an astral projection. Uh Coffee is powerful if you're someone who drinks multiple cups on a daily basis. Uh, someone who never misses a day drinking coffee. Caffeine isn't quite as uh, addictive as nicotine is, but it's still pretty addictive. So denying yourself coffee uh, immediately until you project can be another way of propelling your spirit out of your body in an attempt to satisfy the longing that the physical body has denied it. Uh, another example, or it would be for people who enjoy watching a lot of television or playing uh, video games. Uh, if you do that on a daily basis and it's something you really enjoy, that can work as well. 
Lastly, food, water. If you are someone who is normally healthy and you don't have diabetes or any sort of uh, 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 disease or problem, normally you can uh, fast for, let's say, 24 hours quite safely. Uh, doing anything longer than that, I would say definitely consult your doctor, although don't necessarily tell them why you want to fast because they might put you through a psychological examination then if you try to mention that you want to leave your body. Um, but uh, denying yourself food is something that goes back thousands of years where you have monks who fast for long periods of time and that in doing so, there is a desire for that food. Uh, and since the physical body isn't satisfying that desire, that the spirit will then leave trying to find that food, at which point you can realize that you've left your body and then go off and have your astral projection. Once again, as I said, though, if you're suffering from diabetes or some similar disease, then you don't want to use this particular uh, method of denying yourself food for 24 hours because it might injure your health. But if you're normal, you're not suffering from any particular serious disease, it should be completely safe. So this is a very simple, very direct, and it can be a very effective way. Uh, all you have to do is just, uh, you know, be sure that you exercise control so that you don't uh, abandon your astral projection because you're so caught up in trying to satisfy whatever need you've denied yourself. But these uh, uh, methods or this particular method and these you know particular examples can work if they are very strong habits of yours. Uh, if they're not strong habits, if it's not something that you enjoy, on a daily basis, then it's harder to build up that particular level of need that will effectively uh, propel your astral body out of the physical body. So it depends on the individual. Uh, this is, uh, I wanted to keep this one short uh, uh, because it's, uh, it isn't complex. It can be very simple. So I wish you luck with this if any of these particular habits are your particular poison of choice. Uh, if you liked this uh, podcast, please like it, share it with those of like minds, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, make sure that bell's solid so you're notified on Wednesday and Saturday when the, uh, the new podcasts come out. And you can include any questions and comments or perhaps any experiences you've had that are related to this type of uh, method. And as always, this is Rick, and I'll see you on the Astral Plane.